Oh, brother, election interference at its finest. Everybody's waking up. They see the scam that's going on. We're going to crack open a cold one in November, patriots. My brothers and sisters, beautiful people around the world. Oh, man, y'all make sure y'all watch this one all the way through. Drop a like. Shout out to Julie that sent this over in the email for me to check out. And uh, this, one, this one's coming again from Truth Exposed once again. And man, oh man, everybody sees what's going on, y'all. Everybody's waking up. And actually, a lot of people have, have, have come to our side, man, because of all the corruption that is going on, man. You know? Whether, you know, whether if they, if, they dis, if they dislike Trump or not. You know, I've read so many emails saying, man, I wasn't really a huge fan of Trump. But seeing what everything that's going on, that did it for me. I kid you not, man. You know, we've covered so much, you know, even just on the main channel. So shout out to everybody that's been over there showing love. But man, oh man, it is, it's ridiculous, you guys. And we're going to continue to bring you updates. So shout out to Julie once again and everybody that's been in the Discord chat and the emails. We've sent out tons of mega hats. If you're part of OK Rick, you know, we, man, we're going crazy, man. And we're sending out blessings to everybody. And again, if you, if I haven't responded back to you, email me again. We've even on this channel, we've sent out tons of mega hats. We're from the pad. We I think we believe we've just surpassed the thousand uh, mile mark, which is a blessing. If not, we're, we're really, really close. So over a thousand some hats and just in the past month. You know, which is a blessing, man. Again, we've seen people, people have shouted me out. Okay, Rick, all over uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Everybody that's getting their hats are putting me all over their uh, page, social media pages. And the channel has been going crazy, man. So if you've been a part of Okay, Rick, it's been such a blessing. Again, thank y'all for all the love and support. And again, we do, we, we the same way on this channel, man, you know. But uh, again, I had an issue where I wasn't going to, you know, I was really just quiet and I, and I, I, I got tired of being quiet, man. I, you know, what I stand for is what I stand for. You know, what, I, what, I, what I'm spreading is what I'm spreading, baby. And, you know, I was kind of scared at one point to, you know, when I was getting bashed and threats and, and, and hate comments, you know. But now we speaking out, man. So we're all on the main channel with it. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't running. We're not running, baby. We're not running. But oh, Alvin Bragg, all the judges, everybody got to go. Hands behind your back. People must be held accountable, y'all. This is election interference at its finest. You know, gag order. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You know, the judge's daughter. I mean, it, it's just sad, y'all. Everything, man. It's ridiculous, but I'll leave the link in the description box down below for y'all to check it out for yourself. Let's jump straight in, man. A Alvin Bragg, and it's being said that Alvin Bragg took years to prepare the systemic downfall of former President Donald Trump. However, that in and of itself was a red flag for critics because it means that Bragg, much like AG Letitia James, is in office for the sole purpose of prosecuting one man. That is their only goal and there is nothing beyond that, which is why it's normal to see allies of the former president pissed about this entire deal. And it's also why more and more Americans are now waking up. They're waking up to the fact that these people don't care about them, that they don't think about how illegal immigrants have turned sanctuary cities inside out, how criminals continue to go through the justice system in New York as if it was nothing. These are also the same people who treat felonies like misdemeanors and misdemeanors like felonies. So here's what Representative Jim Jordan had to say about this 300 page brand new report. Well, first of all, Alvin Bragg bragged about it. I mean, bragged about the, the idea that he had sued President Trump or went after President Trump hundreds of times when he's campaigning. But once he gets in office, he realizes there's no real case here. He realizes what the Department of Justice realized when they didn't bring the case, what the Federal Elections Commission realized when they didn't bring the case. And even shouldn't even exist, man. Shouldn't even exist. But like I tell y'all, some of the, after everything that is taking place and that is going on right now, tons of people are waking up. It's made them more popular, and it's some of the best campaigning 
that you can ever imagine is going on. Some of the best campaigning, some of the best boosting is going on right now. And what mm. his predecessor realized, Cy Vance at the Manhattan DA, when he didn't bring the case. But he has a guy working for him who volunteered, Assistant DA Mark Pomerantz, who is pushing this case, saying we got to go after Trump. He came to work for Alvin Bragg simply to go after Trump. And he's the one who persuades Disgusting. Alvin Bragg to do it, not while he's assistant DA, but only after he resigns, throws a temper tantrum, does a media blitz, and most importantly, writes a book where he lays it all out, how he was out to get the president from the get-go. That's what prompted Alvin Bragg, that frankly, and Donald Trump announcing that he was going to run for president, that's what prompted Alvin yeah. Bragg to bring this ridiculous case and, and and Pomerantz called it the zombie case because it was dead gone and buried and then the statute yep. of limitations passed yep. anyway um you talk about this is, is gonna be a lot of what you said a lot of skeletons in the closet a lot of skeletons in the closet as well how is it wouldn't you consider the third highest ranking official at Bi biden's doj to be a pretty prestigious job you would you consider it that way that yeah. to be okay sure then is why did sure this is. guy move, move from that job to give opening arguments and work on this case in a da's office in in the state of new york why would you give up that big job same reason Pomerantz was willing to work for free. They had a vendetta. They had an agenda that to go after President Trump. Colangelo from the Department of Justice goes to the DA's office to go after President Trump. And Al, uh, excuse me, Mark Pomerantz does the same thing. It was all about getting Trump. In fact, these are the guys who said we can put Michael Cohen as our star witness. I mean, the, the one thing that probably bothers me most about this case right now is the fact that they put a gag order on President Trump. Former president, current Republican nominee for president of the United States, likely going to be our next president. I certainly hope he is. He's not allowed to talk. But, my but they can say and do whatever. <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous, man. It is ridiculous. Disgusting, man. Michael Cohen is... Now guys, before I really get into this thing here, all I ask is that you guys take one second, hit the like button for the video, I totally appreciate you. And I wanna thank you so much for always sharing these videos on Facebook and Twitter. So a clear and dangerous precedent is being set here. The idea is that the former president can only take the insults. He can't dish them out. He can also be attacked, but once he defends himself, then he'll be fine, fine. because of the amazing gag order that Judge- He just got fined, not, what was it, $9,000? It's ridiculous, man. You know, and he didn't even want him to attend his son's graduation. It is sick, you guys. Sick. But I'll tell you one thing, though. We're going to crack over the cold in November, baby. We're going to ride. This truck got a check engine light on it, and we're riding, baby. We're, we're riding down the interstate, baby. <laughs> we riding. It's coming, man. That Trump train is coming, baby. Whether you like it or not. Juan Marchand put on him. So now, do I got to hit my sirens? Where my sirens at? Do I got to hit them sirens? Whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. It's coming. It's coming, baby. It's coming. I'm feeling good today. My bad, y'all. I got it's that. It's the black hat. It's the black hat today. You know what I'm saying? I was rocking. You know this my one. You know I was rocking this one. You know what I'm saying? Then this one I ain't. It's brand new out the package too. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you eat. Make sure you email me now. Make sure you email me to get you one. You either get the the red one or the uh, or the black one. Make sure you email me. Again, there's tons of y'all that emailed me. A while back, if I haven't responded back to you, email me again. Where we choose winners every day, baby. Every day. And if you're not a part of the main channel, the main channel, we're, on, we're shooting for 300,000 family members by the end of this year, man. Hopefully by November. You know, we're going we, we're gonna to be blessing people all the way to the election. So go if you're, if you're not a part of the main channel, it's okay, Rick. I'll... 
I'll leave it um, at the end of the video. It's okay. But most of y'all probably already subscribed to it. Um, again, if you're not, okay, Rick. And you can also just click on okay life this channel and then just scroll down. You'll see the main channel. You know? And uh, we're almost we're gonna be at probably three hundred thousand, maybe by the end of this year. That's what we're shooting for. That's the goal. Um, but we're spreading it big over there, you guys, and we're getting so much love. Um, so many beautiful patriots are over there as well. It's a blessing, man. We're gonna continue to spread the love, y'all, and spread the truth. It costs money to practice our First Amendment right. But let's get into this report from the House Judiciary Committee. So it starts off with the most appropriate introduction, a quote from A.G. Robert H. Jackson from April 1940. It states that if the prosecutor is obliged to choose his cases, it follows that he can choose his defendants. Therein is the most dangerous power of the prosecutor, that he will pick the people that he thinks he should get, rather than pick the cases that need to be prosecuted. Now guys, this speaks volumes, because that was 1940, and here we are are in 2024. We're seeing the dangers of a prosecutor who targets specific people. And this report clearly shows how the New York County District Attorney's Office, or the Danny, they went into a multi-year investigation into Trump. Since at least 2018, the Danny has been allegedly researching into Donald Trump's personal life and business affairs. Now, the goal is to bring charges against him, no matter how far-fetched, novel, or even convoluted they might be. It's been said that they went back decades into the former president's life because they wanted something to hold him accountable for with some legal basis. The problem oh, for man. their plan is that it didn't pan out. The report states that when one legal theory didn't work, Danny simply pivoted to a new theory, constantly searching for any crime that they can use to prosecute Trump. Is this something that you approve of? Because the committee is saying that it is a targeted effort against the former president. Much like AG Letitia James, Alvin Bragg built his office on Donald Trump's name. Prior to this election, the DA boasted about his experience with suing the Trump administration more than 100 times. And again, much like Letitia James, Alvin Bragg, he campaigned on a platform of holding the then President Donald Trump accountable. But let's get back to Mark Pomerantz here. So Pomerantz supposedly pressured Alvin Bragg into filing charges against Trump by writing a book and going public with his criticisms. In his book, Pomerantz described how eager he was to investigate President Trump. He even joined an unpaid group of lawyers advising on the Trump administration and essentially saying that he would have paid to join the investigation. Do any of you guys find that just a little bit That's suspect? Sad. Because this is odd. It takes a lot of disdain to work for no money at all just to get someone in trouble. From all perspectives, this looks like a personal vendetta. And let's look at what this report shows shows about Bragg's case against Trump. He charged the former president with 34 counts of falsifying business records. These charges are normally misdemeanors subject to a two-year statute of limitations. Bragg, though, used a novel and untested legal theory. To make matters worse, this theory had already been declined by federal prosecutors. To upgrade this misdemeanor to a felony, Bragg alleged that business records were falsified to conceal a second crime. Donald Trump was arraigned on a New York Supreme Court indictment returned by a Manhattan grand jury on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in the first degree. Under New York state law, it is a felony to falsify business records with intent to defraud and an intent to conceal another crime. That is exactly what this case is about. 34 false statements made to cover up other crimes. These are felony crimes in New York state no matter who you are. We cannot and will not normalize serious criminal conduct. Now the report goes on to say that the timing of this prosecution from the Danny, it provides clear vision that Bragg is motivated by political reasons. It's known to all of us that we're in an election year. Bragg knows that, Fannie Willis knows that, Letitia James knows that, and so does Jack Smith. All those corruptors know it. All those corruptors know it. Ah, and they need to be held accountable. And I want them to smell that brew when I open her, when I crack open a cold one in November with my beautiful patriots. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right, y'all? I want we gonna I want two out the cooler. And here we ride. We 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 got we got that ice at the gas station. We didn't even pay for it, patriots. Yeah, we we just like them criminals smiling. You know, that's walking around uh, them, 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 blue, them blue states and cities. Yeah. We ain't paying for that ice. That, ice, that bag of ice was $8 to $15. $8 to $15 for a bag of ice. That's where the world has come to. 
A bag of ice is eight dollars to fifteen bucks now. It's ridiculous. I remember when, when when a bag of ice was 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 a, a dollar fifty cent. Unbelievable what the world has come to, man. A bag of ice, twenty something dollars. Can't even fill the cooler all the way up. Myth. Which is why Donald Trump has called these cases as scams. That this is the work of the Biden administration in order to interfere with the 2024 presidential elections. And this is further proven when they realize that nothing has been charged since 2018 when it comes to Alvin Bragg's political prosecution of Donald Trump. The only factor that changed is that they're sure that he's going to be running for president this November. So all of this is being done just to prosecute a man, not a crime. If it was anyone else not named Donald J. Trump, Bragg probably would not have even batted an eye. And so this has led the House committee to call out this corruption because that's what they're alluding to, that this is corruption at the heart of New York. But what do you guys think? Does this report show you that the likes of Al tell y'all man everybody waking up you guys thank y'all for stopping by you know and checking this one out with me um if you're not a part of the the main channel okay rick we're calling all this crap out all this corruption out bringing updates spreading the truth on okay rick my my main channel one of my biggest channels you know and we're on the front line y'all we're on the front line um do not be afraid to email me um down below to get you a hat, you know, we're sent, we're, we're choosing winners every, I choose winners every morning, night, during the day, you know, I'm sending out stuff to you guys during the day, you know, um, so please do not be afraid to email me, there's so many of you guys I'm still have to respond back to, especially ever since we've been posting on the main channel, um, but again, it's been a blessing because we've gotten to reach out to so many amazing, beautiful people, man, I encourage y'all to spread the love, you guys, spread the love, Check up on your loved ones. Give them a hug for me. Text them. Call them. Because you never know what people are going through in today's time, man. It is getting crazy, you guys. Suicide rates are at an all-time high. Depression, anxiety. People are struggling at an all-time high in today's time, you guys. And we all are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And we won't change. So please check up on your loved ones. Spread the love. Thank y'all for stopping by. And again, make sure you drop a like on the video if you haven't already. And go to the main channel, OK Rick. Um, again, it'll be it's all over the channel if you uh, missed it. I know there are some of y'all that are subscribed to this channel and you're not a part of the main channel yet, so that's why I'm just telling you guys. But I love y'all, and remember to spread the love, man. And I will catch you, beautiful people, in the next one. Peace and love, family.